Hi guys, it is September the 21st. It is... Uh, it is 10.24 in the morning. It is Sunday. Rosie had babies. Uh, Rosie is... She hasn't figured out that I've moved the babies. She keeps trying to look for them under the water bottle. They are right here. Once they start being hungry and making sounds, I'm sure she'll come. She is very, they are very, very warm, um, so it's fine. They're extremely warm. So she's been nursing. She's doing well. Um, but I don't think she figured it out that they're in here yet. Or maybe she doesn't care. Um, she will. Um, so she keeps trying to make a nest under the water bottle. I've taken it away because the babies can get sick because it's quite wet under there. Um, and she likes to pee in that corner too. Uh, obviously she's not going to pee in there now, but um, I, I don't like it. I really don't. So I moved it. Um, so the babies are now in here. She's got four babies. I did not take the time to look at what the gender was. I didn't want them to get too cold. Plus, I haven't washed my hands. My hands are pretty cold. I would usually wash them under hot water before I touch them. Um, so my hands are pretty chilly. Um, but as you can see, she's got a humongous pile of sunflower seeds. Because in her nest, that's all she collected. So obviously she wants that. So that's what I've given her. And then she's got a huge pile of uh, hemp hearts and flax seeds for lots of protein and energy. And I will be filling this bowl again uh, so that she has a wide selection. Actually, if you want to wait one sec, I will do it right now. Give me one sec, guys. So we are here. They really like the cereal bits. So I just collect like this. And I just top it up. And that's all there is to it. And uh, whatever she doesn't eat, after a while, I'll just toss out. When they're pregnant, I really don't care at all. I just toss the whole bowl. But there obviously is some of everything still in there, so I'm not sure what it is she wants. Um, but since she doesn't seem to care, why don't we go look at the babies? She's ignoring the babies um, presently. So I put them in here. She either doesn't know yet or she doesn't care that I've moved the babies. So... There they are. There they are. Give me one second, I will. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to go wash my hands and get them warm first. Okay guys, so I'm back. So I'm just going to take her little babies out. They are so warm. Okay, so their umbilical cords are still sticking out a little bit. So that tells me that they were born today. So let me just see. This looks like a boy. That looks like a boy. Shit. Tell me I'm not having all boys here. Yeah, okay, so so far, these all look like boys. Um, I will, of course, reevaluate that. Oh, they messed up. I'm going to leave it like this for a second and see how she uh, reacts to this. But, um, anyway, she will... <laughs> she's, so she's gone and taken all the bedding and put them there. I don't want her taking the bedding. She obviously wants to put them under the water bottle, but I really would prefer she didn't. Um, so, I guess we're going to be playing this game for a little while, where she has uh, no idea, and she just keeps moving it, and I'm going to keep undoing it, and hopefully, eventually, she figures it out that they're not going to be raised under the water bottle. Um, Anyway, that would be my preference. I really would prefer she didn't. Obviously, I can't control her if she does it in the middle of the night. Um, but uh, I really would prefer she didn't do it under the bottle. There she goes again. <sighs> okay. Okay, she's insisting on it. So there must be a reason. One of the good things about these kind of water bottles 
So at least you can move them up a bit. So I'm going to just dig it down a bit so that she's not touching it. But she is insistent, so I'm going to help her do it. Because at the rate that she's going, when she moves them, the babies will get cold. So she obviously... So the babies are right there. As you can see, now she's hanging out with the baby, so she obviously wants it there. Okay. All right, Rosie, you win. I really, really had hoped that you would want to raise them inside a box. There's no draft. But apparently, that's what she wants. Hmm? Is that what you wanted? But they are doing very well, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow it. Um, not that I can do much about it. I can't stop her in the middle of the night. But, um, anyway, I thought I'd show you guys. So, she's had babies probably last night, um, because last night there was a lot of this sound, and I think that was what was what was she was doing. She was making a nest over there. Um, anyways, congratulations, Rosie. So, these guys will be weaned in three weeks. Um, they they develop pretty fast. At about two weeks old, they start running around. And uh, I have not decided yet, but um, I may I may opt to do scatter feeding because they will once they learn to walk and they walk in this bowl. All they do is pee in the bowls while they eat, and I constantly dump out the food. Uh, so we'll see. But she's so fat. She's still so fat. Anyways. I never got a picture of these guys, huh?